Today is National Senior Health and Fitness Day, and there's no better time to get moving and get in shape. Many organizations nationwide are celebrating by offering loads of special events featuring low-impact exercises. So whether you have a trainer at the gym or just like to get outdoors, the goal is to just get moving. But before you get moving, you want to make sure your body is fueled properly before you start any workout. Doesn't mean you have to have a big meal before hitting the gym, but something will help your body get the most out of your workout. Eight on your side has some answers for you today. Registered and licensed dietitian Abigail Darty joins me now with more. This is so important. Thanks for being here, by the way. Oh, no, thank you so much. So important for the pre and post workout fuel, right? I mean, it you don't is. want to just jump into a workout and go crazy without anything in your system, but you don't want to eat too much. So where's the, exactly where's that midpoint? So the midpoint. <laughs> It kind of depends on the person, but usually it's around 100 to 200 calories for a pre-workout snack. And on those pre-workout snacks, you want to more favor the carbohydrates, more so than the protein or the fat, because the carbohydrates are what fuels your workout. That's what gives you that quick burst of energy. Mm -hmm. So something that might be good there, uh, let's say about a cup of grapes or, or a half a cup of grapes in a hard-boiled egg, uh, an apple and maybe a small handful of almonds, or something like a Lara bar, a bar that has primarily carbohydrates, but it's a whole food type bar. A lot of fruits have just what you need because they're ready to go and you can be quick about it. Boom, carbohydrates yeah. right there. And then if you have a little handful of nuts, it doesn't have to be, say, an apple or banana. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. Super easy. Okay, but what are the effects about not being well-fueled if you just jump in and go? See, I've definitely done this. I feel like pretty much everybody has that example. Oh, yeah. You you don't have enough stores on board, so number one, you're not going to get a good workout in, and you're not going to be able to really go the way that you want to go, and then also, I mean, you could have fatigue. You, I've even seen um, and heard about people fainting if they don't have enough stores on board, so you really want to make sure that your body is well prepared to be able to get the right workout in, and, and even be able to use your muscles the way you want to. i got to ask this question, because before I work out, I like to have coffee. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Not not a, not a bad thing at all. I would okay. really say it's what you have in it that's more of a big deal, right. but a black coffee yep. can be a great pre-workout energizer. Yep. It does, yep. and I mean, it's one ingredient. Yeah. High in antioxidants, and you get that quick burst energy. There you go. How about uh, when the workout's all over, you've just done a great workout, you're tired out, but what, yes. do, you, what do you do immediately after? Because there's that window of about an hour where your body's doing a lot of crazy things. Yes, it's needing that time to rebuild, and it wants to refuel. So within an hour, you want to have, I, I usually recommend my clients to try to plan them around meals. So post-workout, say you go and work out on your lunch break, then you would have lunch right afterwards, you know, sitting at your desk. Same thing with a meal if you go to work. Uh, go to work out after work, then you have that post-workout meal, and it's usually filled, what I would recommend, with uh, good carbohydrates, good, clean carbohydrates, um, Protein, 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 okay. and some healthy fats. That way, your body gets the full, uh, the full meal deal. It's able to refuel and replenish those muscles. The protein's going to rebuild, but the carbohydrates and the fat actually help to be able to absorb that in your body and veggies. Some good tips. Fuel the body. That's what yes, we need to do. Yes, fuel the right. body. Thank Abigail, you. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll send it back to you.